OD, OD. I mean, we've talked about it a lot during the, the tournament so far that OD is going to be a hot one. And Sumail, by the way, is going to be the mid laner for this game by the looks of it. Miracle going to take the Luna to the safe lane. All right, up top. Marcy going to go forward here. I'm in, giving a little bit of a poke to slow. Nice blood grenade on top. Miracle trying to get in a little bit closer. Kachal. Kachal. He won't even be the first blood. It'll be downtown, actually, elsewhere. Kuroki gonna be first blood. Kachal, then RMN, and then finally they get this juggernaut on the far side of things. It's just an absolute bloodbath in both lanes at the same time. Mikey getting a little bit aggressive, but they may only be 11 and 5 in CS and denies. Versus 16 and 8 on Mr. OD. He is not scared at all. Oh, so easy peasy. They got another Luna. Uh, well, a Marcy gets taken down. Luna gonna back things up, do a little pull for himself here. Nicely done. Gets the full wave though. It's a double stack, so should be able to clean that one up. Marcy back in just a little, little tick. Oh, they're gonna dive him under the tower, jeez. Oh yes, the stun is there. And Miracle tries to get a little bit of lucid beam action. Maybe he can get Jeezy, but no, it's not to be easy. Kachal and GZ gonna make sure they bring Aluna down another time. Only uh, to nail, but given his lane matchup, you kind of expect him to come ahead. The Pangalier not gonna be too much of a threat for the OD in the early game. All right, Miracle getting a solid under his tower one more time. The skewer forward. Oh wow, the slapping and it do be happening. And Nigma down a second time. Maybe they can find RMN here. I doubt it though. Surely not. Goes downtown here. Oh. Taking a big chunk out of Juggernaut, but Juggernaut going to be just quite happy with this. Pops off, uh, what is this? It's the uh, the regeneration from the Royal Jelly. All right, Sumail kills Mikey in the mid lane. Ah, we should probably have watched that instead. That's, uh, in fairness, it's RMN still hovering mid. Looking for a way to get in on the action here. Smoke up from Pango plus Vengeful Spirit, though. All three of them smoke. We go for the reach around here. Centaur, he goes for the Stampede. All right, they'll get the juggernaut and the counter pressure. Here it comes. They want to try and punish M Mikey. Change his mind. They go back. Sumail showing on the lane. Maybe you think they can get a bigger kill here. Uh, they will go for the squash buckle. Not going to connect. The silence does land. Sumail a little bit confused as to what's happening here. Finally takes down the ghosty. But the rotation in. There's rolling thunder. It's caught in the pandemonium. Nice RP from uh, Mr. Magnus. Gets all three of them in the end because of the jump in from RMN. Our men soul bound up, and that's going to be four down for Nigma, and only the loss of the Grimstroke. Well, he decides to start with the alt, and then he'll drop off a little bit of uh, the bubble. Magnus tries to get swapped out, not going to happen. They'll take Stoic in return. This magic missile doing so much work off the back of the soul bind. Stoic still falls. They run down Jeezy as well. Wait, he's in prison for a few seconds. He's dead, I'm sure. There you go. Alright, so Nigma, they get at least something back there. It felt kind of bad that last team fight, so managing to pick up three for free. Alright, guys, alright, guys. Settle down, calm down. I know there's a lot of you, it's your first time out in public, but. Try and be a little bit more, you know, have a little bit more decorum. Mikey, what's he find here? Nothing. As the center of Warrun are going to blink to safety. The follow-up is quickly there, though. They grab a hold of him with a skewer. Push him back. The, uh, the blink away to safety wasn't quite far enough. It wasn't quite the distance that he needed to get away. Vengeful Spirit went for Ocul uh, the Occult Bracelet, building it into Agnum Scepter. Mjolnir finished on the juggernaut. Oh, hello, our man just walking by. He's just going to be an easy feat. I mean, easy kill. No problemo. Yeah, BKB almost done. Oh, wait. All right. I mean, it happens to us all. <laughs> <laughs> happens to us all. We do get tormented. Congratulations, Valve, for uh, introducing the Torment Nexus. I, they are not able to contest. Are they looking for a smoke situation? Maybe come back in through the outside line here. 
No. Juggernaut gonna TP. Yeah, it's, they are. I mean, they see the Juggernaut leaving. They're thinking maybe now there's a way to make a counter play here. Kachal gonna be on the cusp of things. Mikey, he's already got the rolling thunder. Kachal with a beautiful RP finding two. It's Sumail plus uh, plus Ghost. Ghost tries to turn around, almost gets the Juggernaut, almost breaks that Aegis for the first life, but they are melting left, right, and center. Luna, oh, he takes one look at this team fight and he's like, nah, I'm probably gonna go back to retirement. And uh, he's just gonna chill on the high ground for now. Just a rough situation for Enigma. The Creek Waver here, and they'll get at least a tier 3 tower. And already, Ghost, he's looking for a way in here. I mean, if he can find one of the squishy bros, I mean, even there, you saw he was able to deal with the Juggernaut to an extent. He goes on to the Vengeful Spirit with a quick Glimmer Cape, stops that Juggernaut with a counter play. They're gonna chase forward here. Mikey gets a little bit of a tickle from the side with a swashbuckle. And I, why is it why why does it not follow the juggernaut when it's on the juggernaut? It keeps wanting to go back over onto this guy. What? Even, how does this even work? I don't know. They get a little jump up onto Kuroki this time. Now 20 and 9, they're on that back line. Mikey rolling in there. Marcy getting handled. A little bubble trouble, a little saved by Sumail. Mikey tries to follow up on it, but doesn't quite get there in the blink dagger on... Wait, how did he get out? Alright, melee rocks. Kuro throws a little boom-bastic action. Not going to get anything done with it, though. Mikey. Head back over. I mean, Juggernaut's just able to sit in their base completely uncontested. Alright, the smoke up. They go looking. They go fishing for some action right now. Oh, man. <laughs> well... The Kuro detection system is working. They're aware that Mikey's in the general, you know, the general area. We don't know it's Mikey as such, for sure. All right, they go for it. They get a hold of Ghost here. Nice imprisonment, but the RP gonna be used on Sumail. The Soulbind coming through now. Sumail still in a bit of a pickle here. Ghost on that back line trying to deal with Jeezy. Sumail backs up. Luna doing some serious work there, but the imprisonment on the Juggernaut, he pops off his ult, goes in, spins for the win, and Miracle will win that fight. Juggernaut's toast, they try and fall back. Ghost, he rushes forward, tries to get a secondary pick off here. Can they find anything? The answer is no, but a huge defense from Nigma there. And, I mean, it's it's 30 minutes into the game. I mean, while you're at it, Gang, you should. Uh... Hey, there's no 30 minute time. Well, Alright, never mind. Okay, Kachal grabs a hold of Miracle, forcing him in under the tire here. Mikey stops on a penny, rolls it back in. The Soulbind doing so much work again. Iron Man tries to come in here, but it's actually not that helpful. A little bit of bombage, a little bit of stunning Miracle, he pops off the, the Mask of Madness only, tries to fight his way back through this. Kachal gets another grab, pulls him back in under the Tier 4s one more time. But the save is there from uh, Sumail. Keeping his core alive for a little while longer. Miracle finally does fall. The counter play now as they go looking for Ghost to swap back in. Ghost to fall. He's down for 53 seconds. 80 seconds. No Miracle. And already the punishment here. Winter Bears. They're like, that's cute. You managed to win a team fight. Maybe that's what Nygma should have done. You know, after they won that team fight, maybe they should have focused on taking growth. I mean, there's going to be a lot of maybes in this game for sure. The gem on the deck. The Aegis. Everything in the kitchen sink. Roshan's banner. Jamel looking for a way in here. They have the Aegis though, it's difficult to try and make a go of things. And then you've got the RP protection and the swap as well on top. There we go, they go for it. Ghost, he's just going to get caught here, steered away, controlled. Uh, he's still alive for a little bit longer, but they finally do bring him down. Now the Juggernaut tries to come forward, immediately gets slapped by Miracle and Sumail. The hammer getting dropped, first life taken. And that might be enough to force them back, but maybe not with the uh, Centaur dying for 53 seconds. They definitely have a window of opportunity here. Quick blink away from Sumail. And the patience right now for Winter Bear. Not sure whether they should be pushing their advantage or not without this Aegis, but they're going to give it a go. I don't know why it does that. But it's good for the win. They get a hold of Sumail. The silence is in as well. He's got no alt. The RP, the fallout, the kitchen sink, the swap out. Sumail's already down for 64 seconds with the fallout, and they just smash through this line. The only one still standing is a miracle. The rock on the high ground here with the satanic propped off. But they'll catch him now. They'll slap him down. It's our triple kill for Juggernaut. They'll take Kuro out of the base now as well and all of Nygmar died and a GG soon on the cards for this game one.
Winter Bears turn it up and making a statement, that's for sure. Alright, the GG's called. They throw up them hands. Game one in the bag for Winter Bear. Uh, maybe a little bit of a drafting situation going to be going into game two here. All right, we got ourselves a draft for game two. Best of three in the Betboom Dutcher close qualifier. Upper bracket semi-finals for Winter Bear, who are one game up, by the way. Just need to clutch this one out to take it and send Enigma Galaxy to the lower bracket. Oh, Ark Warden! He gets toasted, he gets roasted. He actually takes Kuro on the back line before he falls, though. He will get first blood, 344 gold. Going to the Arc Warden, he gets taken out eventually by Ghost. Alright, 16-3 versus 10-3. Is this a pyramid lane for Mikey or no? I don't think it I don't like I said, I don't think it really matters. In the end, he will have an okay time of things. The dive forward. Most dog wanted. Getting chonked up just a little bit here. The body block from Stoic. Decently done. Kuro trapped under the tower goes down again. They'll trade it out. Ghost takes at least the arc warden in response. And I think it's a pretty good trade. Kuro's going to be quite happy with that. Position 5 for position 1, he says. I'll okay, he's got a couple of hill priest trolls. Well, a hill priest troll and a hill priest berserker. The break, is that useful here? I don't know. The seating chain's on stoic, though. The flame guard. Bernie, Bernie, Bernie. Sumail looking for a solo here. Hello. Jeezy arriving along with Mikey. Sumail can he find the kill? He does get stoic. He's still running though. Panglier with the rolling thunder. The blast not going to connect. Sumail eats one right click. Kuro, go any help for your bro here? No, Mikey comes back the other way, finishes him off, and takes that kill down. And in the end, they will trade their mid laner for the the granny. The whole squad is coming in down here, having a little look see. Ah, oh, yeah, they're gonna get him for sure. Here we go. Ghost is like, oh, hello there! Hello, friend. Pops the doom off. The TP's coming across Pugna. Gonna try and save his bro. Is it working? I don't know. The socketing, the doom ticking down. Miracle's here to collect. He gets that kill. Now they go down. Back looking for Jeezy here. He's keeping himself fresh for a little while longer. That's gonna be two permanent RG stacks. Only one permanent RG. He didn't even get hit on. Alright then. Okay. I should have to get the kill. Mikey with the rolling thunder, dropping the bombs from Snap Daddy downtown here. Chen, he's toast. No problemo. Everyone else gets out alive though. Wait, who else is in here? Sumail coming in a little bit unexpectedly. The slight of this, the seating chains. He tries to get away. Ghost comes across. He's ready with that veil. Doing a little bit of damage. Stoic getting kind of low. Miracle chasing forward. Can he get another plus one RG? The Dukes from Stoic doing so much work right now. There's an RP on the backside as he do. Wait, what did the RP even land on? Nothing. Did Sumail just dodge it? Easy. I mean, if not, he could have done. That's the way it should be. Yeah, the odds are uh, the wrong way around. This one was for uh, Winter Bear, the other way around. Uh, I think the Galaxy would be advantage here, of course. There's like four heroes who can all collapse on top of them. I mean, he has a remnant, he'll be fine. Talking about things that are fine or not fine. Mikey doomed up. The Infernal Blade is there. The chase forward. He gets all the way with the cookie play though. Right, Amber. Oh, he actually gets him with the searing chains. Nice. Now they go looking for most wanted dog. Or most dog wanted. Enigma. They're having literally no problems at all. Miracle with a leap forward here. Sumail with a rotation and searing chains on top. It's a double kill for Sumail. Goodbye, Magnus. And, I mean, we were talking in the draft, like, oh wow, they gave them the Magnus two games in a row, but, I mean, it seems like they might have a solution for this. And it's one of those leads that's really difficult to kind of contemplate how they're going to... how they're going to shut this down. They're not even interested in their wisdom. Hello, the mid lane. They're going to go for it here. Sumail, Mikey, he's kind of trapped in amongst this. The Rolling Thunder gets off. The bomb's getting dropped. They lose Granny. Now Sumail completely controlled for half an hour. They just murdered him. Oh, my word. I mean, it felt like he like they had the upper hand. I mean, he, oh, yeah, we lost some vision there. Too. Sure did. I think it both, though. 
Oh no. Oh no! Like normally, yeah, I, I guess we're doing both. Circles on a killing spree. Where is it? We can't quite find it. Wait, wait, wait. There we go, they're smoked up. Now the counter initiation. They can't make it, Jeeves. They just have to watch it go down, sadly. It's a sad time. It's a sad time. If anyone knows the hotkey to uh, bring this back, that'd be great. Miracle's still hunting. They can't quite find it, though. They're coming through. Oh, they're getting ready for the jump on Jeezy. Infernal Blade is there. Jeezy trying to get away. Miracle's on that back line already, though. Got a little pirate's action not happening, Mickey. But Mikey with the rolling thunder. But Miracle, he's in a bit of a pickle, but the save's there. Jamil diving through that back line. The ceiling chains actually catching him up, but Mikey rolling around. Easy peasy, he says. Double damage up on Jamil. It's amplified damage now. It sure is. They're going to back up to this high ground. Hello, a little jump from Miracle. Oh, versus Miracle here. Uh, doesn't want to use the RP. He's out of mana now, anyway. He gets him up on the high ground. The pants down. He thought he was going to get away with it. It's not happening. He got himself another pick here. Maybe Jeezy get caught out a little bit. RMN to help the drones out. They already killed him off. 44 seconds on the sideline. Miracle just running around doing Miracle things for now. Alright, 16 to 9, 12k net worth lead. They are looking they're looking for a way to kind of maybe push this tier two in the mid lane. They've got something on the back line though. Go, they get a hold of Stoic. Most dog dog up on the high ground and, and there goes the Sumail. Out of there again. Wait, what the heck is going on there? Now we lost the other one, did we? No. There we go, can he pounce forward here? The vision game so strong, they get a good jump onto RMN. RMN getting handled, BKB quick guy, and the doom from Ghost as he goes looking for a kill here onto Magnus. Up to the high ground, they're gonna go in, they're gonna follow up, they're gonna bring him down. So double kill for Miracle through this process. Now they go looking for Stoic as well. Can they make it a triple? The pounce is there, stopping him from going anywhere. The heal from Pugna, keeping Stoic alive for now. Not sure it's going to be enough though. The egg dropped off on the back line. Stoic goes down. It's a triple kill for Miracle. And now they fall back and look at this tier 2 tower. Wait. We wave. Not here just yet. They got 8 permanent until each 20 essence shifts stolen on Miracle with 60 Algae in the pipe. He was guard, Mage, Slayer, Kaya, and Sand all on my. A good, good attempt, guys. Good attempt. Roche, gonna get taken, gonna get picked up by Miracle. And it is Slark, so healing very quickly indeed. The tier 3 tower looks rather juicy right now. Mikey does have Rolling Thunder to work with. There's an RP as well. They're going to try and go in here. They get a hold of Miracle. Rolling Thunder. Nice. Doom. No back the other way. Trying to force him into the fight in 65 seconds. No buyback. Miracle pops off the out. Trying to fight in on the Stoic here, but he's going to get decrepified. And it's like a fist new chain from Sumel. He dies forward a little bit more. The damage, Phoenix, Kuro making some work. Having Miracle on the back lines, securing objectives. Full set of racks to fall here, and Winter Bears can only look on as the uh, racks crumbles before them. All right, the Hex up on Kuroki. It's going to give them some initiation options for sure. Okay, the initiation on the back line. What have they got themselves? The Magnus could be pretty good. With that Doom ready to go, but Kachal, quick usage. Tried to pop off the RP, didn't quite happen. The BKB on Ghost the Doom's out now. Kachal forced back. Pangolier rolling around. Easy peasy. They take Stoic as well in the process, and that's probably going to be that. Right. Probably going to be that. Still holding. They still have two buyback sheets. I don't know if they want to throw the tile on just yet. It just feels a little bit 
I think it's going beyond them now. They smoke round this outside, trying to get a hold of the Arc Warden, maybe? I don't know. The Pangolier of Mikey, that's a pretty good pick. There's that uh, Kuroki Hex getting used immediately. Now they go back off the other side, eh, trying to break it up. Miracle. What can he find here? Nothing much. They lose Kuroki's Phoenix. Now Miracle being controlled, left, right, and center. They pull him back in, the TP across, and they have to chase away. And there's no Aegis, so like I say, they probably were supposed to wait a minute or so. I mean, they still have plenty of buybacks available. No, they don't actually. They're, this is a really awkward time. When their bears, with their, you know, caught with their, their net worth down a little bit here. Okay, Amber, jump forward. They go in for GZ here. GZ, he's toast, but he does have a buyback. One of the few that's available. Go looking for more. Go looking for the tier two, tier three in the mid lane. They got the Chen army, the pendant squad are in there. Keep down. Mikey, Shiva's guard, he's got the rolling thunder, he's, he's just curling up actually, okay, the RP connecting on Sumail, there's a silence on top, he's taking literally no damage, Miracle with a beautiful depth strike, keeping his mid alive, and all of the damage coming through here, nice RMN, hand of god to heal them up, and they'll fall back, the whole time the Chen army's been beating down on the meat Rex, good times, he gets Sumail one more time, but he's still too tanky for them, Chain Slight of Fist, Ghost is in here, slapping, hopping, left, right, and center. Enigma, they're gonna take this easy peasy. They're all dying. It's an ultra kill for Miracle. The GG's come out. And game two secured by Enigma. Game three, gonna be a crowd pleaser for sure. Alright, Winter Bear versus Enigma Galaxy. I mean, that's uh, that's cool, I guess. Nice. I don't know what that means, but okay, I hope it didn't. Just, just obviously it didn't spawn, so it was blocked, but yeah, it felt like the creep was just going to come out just in time. <laughs> they weren't going to get it. Where will the first blood even be? Cheesy getting kind of low here. Alright, then tossing stuff down on top of Miracle, but he's just to tossing one a healing ward. He's going to be just happy enough about that. Slark! Oh! It's slapping and it's happening. Ghost, he brings it home. Hey, why is this still not gone over? I can say because there is no kill threat because of the surge able to get pretty thick pretty quick for an early Shiva so they're having a little go on Sumail here. Three heroes for this, the avalanche, the rotation. Mikey gets it with a blast of the horses. In the old days when you could mana trade and rupture about people and they couldn't go anywhere without bleeding or losing all the mana. Oh, they're having a go here on Ghost. Pull him back in with the gaze. The old man gaze doing a lot of work here. The frost shield. And they'll run at home. Kachal falling on the other side though. An even trade. Wait. RMN going to go down. Jeezy finds a second. And now Miracle. He's trying to clean up on Jeezy here. The TPZ. Too easy for Jeezy. He's out of there. Adios, Monchachos. Well, the keeper's back. He, I mean, he got a kill. He's 3.1k net worth now. And Sumail with power treads finished up. He's got a little help coming through here. Okay, RMN looking for a way. GZ ready with the avalanche closing in with a toss. Uh, they'll bring him down. Sumail, a squishy boy. Wind Ranger. Not exactly the thickest of uh, of ladies. RMN, oh no. The solar bind, the follow up Kuroki's here though. He gets a little nut show action. Not going to do anything. Chen's still gonna fall, and now Kuro, maybe he's a little squirrel on the... Nah, he's good, he's good. He's going for early defusal blade on the Wind Ranger. Who is this young guy? This young Sumail. In the rotation, into the gaze, the pounce is there, too late to try and get away, nice! Actually gets a hold of Slark, pulls him in under the tower, throws the RP, or at least considers it. Gets denied before it's really a factor though. Kuro getting handled by Jeezy right now. The focus fire. The tanky boy though. So, uh, I mean, Sumail, it's taken him a long time to take this guy down. Finally gets the job done with Miracle turning up, ending a four times dominating kill streak. Solar Bind is out in Miracle to slow him up. And does he just not have the javelin? Ah, no javelin on Sumail, so. They're waiting here in behind the tower. Kuroki the bait. They have to go Miracle up on the high ground. They're aware. 
and uh, Avalanche toss combo, not quite going to connect. They get a hold of Ghost, send him forward, skewer back the other way, Chain Frost going to go off. Nice Omni Slash from Miracle gets the job done. They get a beautiful wall down here on two, but Sumail, he's got all the control in the world. He's in behind the wall, the Avalanche to try and stop things up. Tiny making a break for it, and they'll take down this illusion on the way, but where is the darks here? Kachal is getting out of touch. Full squad is here. And they did it easily with eight seconds to spare. Huge. Okay, the big smoke up, the response. Winter Bears awares that this is what was happening. They want to see if they can find an angle to get on, on Sumail, perhaps. Avalanche toss to set things up. The shaft shot comes through. Sumail getting gazed back in. Chain Frost running its course. Sumail still alive. Gets hit a third time by the Chain Frost. Goes down. He has no Aegis. It's on. Miracle. Nice. Miracle trying to turn back in for this. No Slark backing it up. Backing it up. Wait. RMN. Where, where the heck is uh, Ghost? Who's RMN? Ghost has There's the Orc in play. Slowing up the Magnus. Find the counts. They're looking for the angle. Doesn't need it. He goes for there in the end. Takes the kill down. Finds Ghost. Now Miracle trying to TP out. And it's a complete disaster for Enigma. As they'll bring down Kuro as well. They trade four for one. Slark plus five permanent Aji. He's rocking 39 stolen Aji right now. Need Mikey ready to blast these creeps down. It's working, but Miracle still standing firm. Can't take out his healing ward without getting a little bit closer. The tier three tower. Now the Chen army committing for this. They'll take it down. Looking for the melee run. Backing it up. Backing it up. Ghost ready with the RP connection. He goes in. He brings in two. But a beautiful play from Slark. Oh my word, the depth shot. Doing so much work! They get this nice wall, nice, nice wall down. Miracle trying to make the play. The whole Chen army slowed up. Ghost having to try and fall back on the side of things. The pounce forward. The Slark, he reads the situation. Almost managed to find him straight up with a pounce. Not quite there, but the follow up is, and the gaze on top. Goodbye, Ghost. The rest of Enigma having to fall back. Sumail getting handled here just a little bit in the mid lane. Maybe they could lock down Sumail. I mean, that's the dream. He's too far away, though, surely. Did Slark go for the Ags? By the way, he did. He's going to find RMN on the side. Nom, nom, nom. Another plus one permanent Aji. He's got 75 Aji right now, plus the seven permanents. You do not want to go anywhere near this Slark. Child with the full Guardian Greaves and the Shiva's Guard. They're smoked up. They're on the, they're on the prowl. Let's see what they can find here. I mean, who even would they find? I guess the pings are coming out on Kuro. Alright, the avalanche is there. I don't really like the karma. It's fine though, don't worry about it. Bringing it back in the other way. Bam, bam, thank you, ma'am. He's still alive. He's in biz. GFC shoot is going a little bit deeper here. They get themselves the Magnus with the pounce. There's another pounce available. He's going to get himself up to the high ground though. The follow up is there. The BKB turning around. Now the Omni Slash. Uh, Mr. Miracle's in going hard. Hum. He manages to get down one. The Dark's here on the back line. Slark is getting a little bit ham himself here. He goes in super deep. Koro actually went down, but I think he already was dead. He sure was. And uh, Slark didn't get much at all then. And goes back to the fountain to heal up. Maybe he can get a little bit of damage now. And again, the Aegis. It's Aegis and Cheese, right? He's a difficult kill though. Like, honestly, between the Depth Shroud and the Alt, it's a problem for them. So they're going to go around the outside. Ignoring him for just now. Oh, that's a big one. Mikey would be pretty sweet to get the hex off. The wall is there. The Avalanche. Nice. Sumail trying to run the numbers as well. Slark, though, with a pounce forward. Onto Miracle. The spin for the win. He gets himself to safety to turn around with the Chakra Shot. Now the Omni Slash. That was only Swift Slash. Swift Slash enough to bring down the Slark. Are you serious? Oh, my word. Okay, they've got the break. Now he pops off the ult. Backing up, Kuro going to die on the outside line of it, here they go, they get the nice hex up on Miracle, Miracle still chasing forward, they take down the Ice Spire, forget the chase he says, they break the ages for Kuro's life once again, he didn't go back for the Dagon, actually, no way, they're smoked up, they're on, they're on the prowl, it's going to be Slark, right, let's follow Slark, because he'll be the pouncer, you think, they see RMN here, and immediately just going to jump on, blow him up, Toast. Darks here. Good job. Maybe they can find a little bit more here. 40 seconds on the sideline. No RMN Chen. No buyback available. He can't be that far off the buyback. Right? A 
five on them ten. Okay, pretty far off. Miracle's in. He's trying to make this happen. He's beating down. It's sort of working. The pants to pull back in with a vac though. On the wall. Miracle down for eight seconds. Ghost, he goes for a little RP action. Gets a hold of Tiny. Gets a hold of Slark. Nice. Two mail. Wonderful. Slark doing some decent work here. But Slark going to munch his way through. Double up the Magnus, nice blinding light, knocks Sumail back in, it's a double kill for Slark. And the base is going to be very problematically in shambles now. 60 seconds, no Sumail, 50 seconds, no Miracle, Miracle with no buyback. Slark, he says no, let's stick around here, the fortification coming through, looking for maybe plus one kill, easy peasy, they find it. He's going to go deep on oh, the Slark. They find RMN. They've got Buybox available on Sumel and on Hoodwink, but they're going to save them for now. And, uh, they want the Buybox. They're like, okay, you don't going to use your Buybox. We'll force them out. They go for the Tier 4 Towers, pulling them back into the fight. 24 seconds for Miracle. Slark will not be stopped, though. He doesn't care, Jeeves. He's got 200 stolen Aji, as well as 14 permanent. Uh, he's just the machine right now. Can you even do right-click damage to him? How much armor is that? Just a casual 58 armor? No problem, he says. No problem. And he's on the Ancient here. Ghost tries to intercept on this. But Slark eventually having to fall back. Those uh, Aji stacks starting to fall off a little bit. And I don't know. I don't know. You take the two tier fours. You do significant damage to the Ancient. But you could have had a set of racks. The RP from Ghost. Could be, could be pretty critical. They hear the Roche Roar. And oh, I love the positioning here right now. They're aware they're coming, so they just leave Slark in here by himself. Power shot reveals Slark. You've got to be careful. Cheesy on the low ground. Cheesy with the counterplay. Comes through. The Gill force the Vok wall on four. Slark goes in, gets the Abyssal off. Ghost going to get handled before he can do any RP like action at all. Slark up to the high ground. Goes looking for Kuro next. Everyone else has bailed from the situation. Or they're running for their lives. At least Avalanche catches RMN. They turn around. Slark ready with a pounce on top. And Raw Shield, he's going literally nowhere. Miracle and Sumail, the sole survivors. And there's no buybacks here. And maybe you go back for the Aegis. But I don't know about that. They've got some time to work with here. Slark showing in the lane. Miracle, maybe he's looking for this. The Omni Slash. Jeezy ready to sacrifice himself for his core. But guess what? Slark ready with the depth charge. They turn it around. The Abyssal Blade coming through. Nice. Sumail with another shot for shot. I don't know how that latch, but it did. Miracle dying for 80 seconds. Sumail to fall now as well. Winter Bears are doing it, by the way. They're all down. 15 seconds for Chen. He's the solo defender for this high ground push. What can they get out of this? 20 seconds for Magnus. The creep wave, they need to get it here. The backdoor protection. Slark is saying, I can get it done. Believe in me. They cut the creep wave though. Okay, okay, okay. They're gonna settle for some rocks instead. Feels okay, man. Still 35 seconds, no miracle. 57 seconds, no Sumail. Can they hold them off here at all? Tiny with the zoning play gets skewered into the fountain. I don't know about how zoned it is. Is the Ancient getting ready to fall? The buyback, it's there from the... Uh, from the... Uh, yeah, it's too late though. The GG's out and uh, Slark will bring this down. And Winter Bear will go through into the upper bracket final. And Enigma Galaxy are going to have to battle it out in the lower bracket. My word. My word, what a what an end to the series. And it was so backwards and forwards actually, both uh, both both ways around.